Hey everyone, in this video we are going to add search and pagination functionality to our fast HTML app. This is part 2 of our complete fast HTML tutorial. In the first part, we introduced fast HTML, created a basic app with a simple string rendering and built a book management system. Now we are going to take things a step further and enhance that system with some powerful new features. In this part, we will focus on adding a search function that allows us to find books by title or author and a pagination system to neatly organize large list of books into multiple pages so first let's take an overview of what we are going to make in this video so this is our book management system app that we have created in part one and now we are going to add this search feature in this app allowing user to filter books by title or author and also we are going to implement pagination this is useful when you have lots of books and want to display them in a manageable chunk so let's get started with initialization and basic setup so first we are going to import everything from fasthtml.com and here db holds the database connection and then we are going to initialize our fast html app with authentication middleware just to remember we have done all these things in the part one app.route is used to define routes within the app this variable defines how many books are displayed on each app in this case we are showing five books per page you can modify this value if you want more or fewer books on each page and then here we have defined a route for this endpoint so when the request is made on this endpoint it will call this function and then we will retrieve the current page number from the url query parameters if no page number is provided, we have set the default to 1. So in total books, we calculate how many books are there in the database. And in total pages, we calculate how many pages we need based on the total number of books and number of books per page. And here we have a pagination logic where we calculate the start and end index for the book we want to display on current page. For example, we are on page 2 and showing 5 books per page. So the start index will be 5 and the end index will be 10 displaying books 6 to 10 so this is the input field that allow user to search for books by title or author it has an ht get attribute which means when the user types in this input it sends an http get request to the filter book endpoint to filter the book based on the search query so this is the checkbox that allows the user to filter the list and show only published books it also sends the get request to filter books so here we calculate the previous page and next page by checking if there is a valid page to move to. If the current page is 1, there is no previous page. So previous page is none. And if you are on the last page, there will be no next page. So it is set to none. So here we have a div. In this div, we render the pagination control with previous and next button. These buttons link to the appropriate pages. So if there is no previous or next page, we hide the corresponding button. So here we have defined the route for filter book endpoint. So here we have a function filter book where we retrieves the search query from the URL and uh, this retrieves the value of publish only checkbox. If checked, it filters the books to show only those that are published. And here we have a search logic that uh, if the search query queue is provided, we filter the book by checking if the query exists in the title or the author name and if the published only checkbox is checked we further filter the books to show only those where book.published is true and here this repeats the same pagination logic as before but here we applied it to the filtered book instead of entire list so here we have a simple logic that if no books match the query we return no books found otherwise we will return a table row for each filtered book using this function we defined earlier to format the book details in part one and let's save and run the file so we can test our functionality here so let's search a book and uh, you can see we get the book detail and if we search a random string here we will get no books found and if we check is the pagination functionality working or not so you can see we are getting five books per page let's click on this button and now we are redirected to the next page so it's working great so if you found this video useful you can like this video and for more content like this you can subscribe to this channel